What does it take to create a masterpiece? How do you foster innovation? It takes genius, bravery, and deep knowledge. Leonardo da Vinci was a master of all of those. He nurtured his genius through investigation, using the only tool he was given, the eye. For him, eyes were the window of the soul, the only way to experience the world, and drawing was the tool to make sense of all that information. Striving for perfection both in arts and sciences, he investigated how vision works. Before modern medicine, he understood that the eye works like a camera obscura, where the light enters through the pupil from different angles and converges to create a reversed image of the world. He believed there was something at the bottom of the eye where the picture was recorded. But biology was in its infancy, and he couldn't know how the retina and the nerves worked. Despite the lack of technology, he rewrote the old map of the brain and provided an impressively reliable picture of the position of brain ventricles, where optical nerves converge. He described the optical chiasma, which he understood as a key structure connecting each eye to the opposite part of the brain. For centuries, these and many other outstanding intuitions remained hidden in his sketches, never published, never studied by the scientific community. But today, life science can honor the legacy of the master by taking his knowledge to a deeper level. We now can look inside the body to see organs, tissues, and deeper into cells. If only he could explore the retina as we do now, he would see the light hitting millions of strange tiny cells, converting images into electrical signals that travel that optical nerve that he drew centuries ago. It's the brain cortex that reverses and decodes the pictures of our world. We now know that the masters of this process are neurons. We see them thriving in culture. We can study the function of their genes as a glow in the dark. And we know that the astonishing perfection of the nervous system is finely shaped and sustained by invisible molecules, neurotrophins. In their strength lies a promise of the medicine to come. But this is far from enough. Computer science can take our vision to dive into the invisible world of these molecules. The supercomputing platform, Excalate, allows us to study molecules as their atoms interact in front of our eyes. We can even digitally design molecules that don't exist in nature. Today, we know much more than Leonardo could ever imagine, but we haven't yet matched his genius. He still teaches us that drawing models is the way to explore the world, and vision is still the tool we need to embrace the challenge in science.